Okay, good day guys. This is your boy Chibuzo Agowa and you're welcome to Blogging for Tech YouTube channel. Um, actually, I'm in my car just like you've seen and it's going to be a faceless um, video. Um, just like the title said, I'm actually going to use um, this um, ELM327 Mini OBD2 scanner to actually scan for some error codes on my car. What actually prompted this video was um, just like um, yesterday, I was actually driving and I'm... Um, I had some noises from the side of my engine just lay close to the exhaust yes to close to where the exhaust connected to the engine and the noise wasn't something um okay so that's the reason why i said before i take it to the mechanic to actually carry out um, a physical inspection let me first of all um use my elm327 mini ob2 scanner to actually detect the error code so that once i Take it to the mechanic for physical um, inspection. I can actually tell him where the fault is actually coming from. Um, so uh, most of you that hooked up with this channel will know already that this is not actually um, uh, an auto or a car YouTube channel. It's a technology related YouTube channel. But I'm actually putting up this video for my followers that are used to me. Um, I actually teach them things that that they can do on their own and now we are actually using my car as an example to detect an error code i've put up um similar video just like this i'm talking about this um elm327 mini ob2 scanner as you may subscribe subscriber to this youtube channel you might have come across such a video i actually placed a link also where you can purchase this at a cheap price so you can scroll back to my playlist and you discover and watch that video so but if you're visiting this channel for the first time you can actually hit the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification so that you'll be part of this channel so having done that let's get started and the first thing we have to do i'm using this um i'll connect it to my obd2 ports just uh, let me see okay just uh, there i hope i captured it properly yes at uh, that portion of my car and i'll be using um my car scanner app on another android phone of mine i've actually showed you this in that previous video it's a car scanner app this very app let's see okay just close to where the youtube video is yes car as you can see it's car scanner app so that's the app i'll be using uh with connecting with this bluetooth so now let's get started first of all let me connect this and i'll get back to you as you can see, I've actually connected the Bluetooth and the light is showing red. Yes, simplifying that is on. So now let's get back to my car. So we're now back inside my car and I've connected the Bluetooth scanner. So the next thing I'll do is to open the, um, to launch the car scanner app. This is how it looks like. It's loading. This found in I installed the app actually downloaded it from Play Store and I installed it in an Android phone of mine so this is how it looks like so um, the next thing we'll do before we connect we have to like turn you can actually turn the car to full ignition if you desire but let's see now I'll carry my car key and place it okay so i've turned it now let me reduce the sound it's actually raining outside so i want to reduce the sound of the fan so now it's on and now let's see once i've connected it now let's click on connect so i want to actually just like i told you car okay yes allow to turn on bluetooth so it's it's actually connecting as you can see so once it has fully connected i will okay was it said connecting so you see using protocol uh, the grammar is quite long but what i know is that it is actually connecting so successful as you can see it has fully connected so the next thing we'll now do is to um less um the less um you see the portion actually can do so lots of things from here but i just want to like um troubleshoot for some code so diagnostic trouble code so let's go and what happened this so now let's read okay 
okay okay read so now it's reading five percent for ten percent and seven percent as you can see some error codes are already popping up let me show you properly they're already popping up so now let's see it came up with three error code the PO 172 the PO 141 and uh, P2184 as you can see and the good thing is that um it's actually it's actually um, gave a description of each of the codes like you see the first one the PO 172 actually says um system not to reach bank one fuel system to reach um I will still uh, but, the, but I can actually save this code and still like Google for that to understand what it actually means so now let's see the second code it said P0141 heated oxygen sensor bank one heated control circuit malfunction okay we simply um shows the O2 sensor like you all know is um connected close to the exhaust by the engine so that's the maybe that's the sound that i'm actually listening to um or actually heard and that's one of the faults it has detected the p0141 code said um heated oxygen sensor now let's see other codes um, um status confirm okay agent engine coolant is sensor to circuit low um i have to refill the coolant and um, pending what system not to reach p0172 let's see okay it's the same it's the same P2814. Okay, is the, th the three codes actually the same? These are the previous um, ones I've read. It's just a repetition. So, um, as you can see, the three codes is actually detected. The first one is a P0172, the second is a P0141, and the third is a P2184. So, I will um, save this code. I'll export it as you can see. Um, and I will export it and I'll save it so that I can do further. Um, search and eat and detect what it is all about so you can see i've used them um, the elm327 media bd2 scanner to actually scan my honda accord and detected the fault and i'll be heading to the mechanic just away so if you like this video kindly give it a thumbs up and um, share like and also comment and don't forget hit the subscribe button so that you be part of this channel so that you can see lots of technology related videos just like this so with that we'll come to the end of this video i'm um, from the star chips agua is my name and blogging for tech is the name of this channel so we'll see in my next video bye bye for now